Slong Shay, the Aukri. I'm uh, making a video response to the message that I got from you. And I'll be posting the questions down for anybody else that finds it that wants to uh, join in on the fun. It's a, a little older video that uh, that Leocre responded to that was uh, posted by somebody who was subscribing to, so it's getting passed around. And uh, I have to say that if you haven't checked out his channel already, you have to. He's got some interesting survival videos or survival type videos with uh, little things on, on how to make a hammock out of nothing kind of stuff, which is always good to know. Especially if you're like me and you're a biker and you like to travel light, you don't have to carry a bunch of crap with you. Uh, so, I guess on we go with the questions. Uh, what is your name? Well, my channel name is G String G. It's a name that's followed me since I was quite young, and uh, it's still stuck with me. Uh, but my proper name is Gerald. And uh, what age are you? Well, in a couple weeks I'll be 33. Uh, I know I look a lot younger than that, but uh, it's good getting ID'd everywhere you go. It's a lot of fun. You can have fun with it. Uh, male or female? A lot of times when I'm talking on the phone, for some reason, people will say, yes ma'am, or thank you miss. Mm, I just let it go and tell them it's because I have long hair and that's why they got confused. I know they can't see me on the phone. Uh, where do you live? I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. It's the second smallest province in Canada. It's on the east coast, just northeast of Maine. It's the little piece of land shaped like a lobster claw. And uh, ironically, we're known for lobster fishing, which I've never done, but I've eaten a lot. And what are your interests? Well, I like to hunt, fish, ride motorcycles, play drums, I'm teaching myself guitar, I brew my own beer and wine, I uh, do light gardening, uh, like working on old cars and things. Uh, yeah, different kind of uh, interests from what I'm seeing a lot of people on YouTube have, but I'm really not a technological geek. I'm so not technologically friendly. Uh, what music do you listen to, or what music do you like? Uh, I like a bit of everything, really. I like anything with a beat. Uh, as a musician, I think it's important to have uh, a variety in there for creative purposes. I'm not so much into the country thing. A bit of the country rock isn't so bad, but I'm so not into bluegrass. Uh, but uh, not generally like uh, the, the rock, punk, ska... A uh, bit of metal. Uh, I'm getting into like well, traditional Latin music and even Latin house and hip hop beats and things. So, uh, but yeah, it's anything and everything for me, really. And uh, uh, what movies do you like? Well, I like anything that's entertaining. Uh, anything from sci-fi, action, comedy. Uh, horror, uh, like documentaries, um, and if you haven't seen it, an interesting documentary to watch would be uh, Occupation 101. Uh, it's a story on the whole background of Palestine, Israel, and, and so on. It's, it's very interesting and sometimes disturbing. Uh, but uh, then another example of a movie that I... I adore is Domino. If you haven't seen that, which I think most of the world has, you definitely have to see Domino. Uh, it's got a bit of everything in it, and it's it's like a two-hour rock video. It's it's great. Uh, what do you, or who do you like to watch on YouTube? Well, uh, hmm, definitely uh, MB, or MPVT, and uh, yeah, I screwed up your name, but I see how much of this is left. Okay, and uh, but yeah, another person to watch. Uh, the, the I watch regularly, tune in regularly. Anytime there's something new, is uh, uh, oh my God, it's Chris or Zom gets Chris or Chris Rad. Um, 
but uh, that's uh, she's probably one of the uh, the most out front funniest people I've ever seen on on YouTube. Um, if you're an atheist, probably not so funny if you're not an atheist. Uh, but uh, uh, another person to watch uh, who has uh, well some atheist videos, but a lot of political videos too, which are just hilarious and I love how he rags on Fox News. It's like he's speaking right out what's in my mind and he has much better editing skills than I do so he puts it together so well. But uh, Cocktopus Prime, spell it with zeros. Uh, I'll put links to the stuff down uh, uh, down below. But um, yeah, then you want to uh, uh, of course uh, check out the the creator of, of this little uh, little link that was sent to me and uh, which again there'll be links available down bottom and uh, I'm sure there'll be Gaelic conversations going back and forth too uh, but uh, then an interesting fact about yourself well an interesting fact about myself is I have a daughter who is from Chile and when I say she's from Chile I mean her mother is a an aboriginal person of Chile and my daughter was born in Chile and the flag behind me some people may be wondering why does he have a Texas flag behind him if he's from Nova Scotia Canada that's not a Texas flag the Texas flag has a blue bar going all the way to the bottom that's the Chilean flag it has a blue square and it's hanging there because uh, while my background is primarily Scottish the other half of my household is definitely Chilean so it's a uh, it's an homage to the household and uh, so yeah I guess that f that's the uh, the end of the questions and uh, check out the links down below check out the questions down below uh, like to see some responses some interaction and uh, yeah if you uh, want to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe uh, you won't hurt my feelings at all and I just might uh, go take a look at what you got but uh, yeah, ciao for now